right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about a pretty important topic. Um, I know a lot of you guys watch the channel because you wanna see information on how to better care for your turtles, uh, how to take care of pet turtles. Uh, and today we're gonna to talk about why. Why would you keep turtles and tortoises as pets? They're actually some of the worst pets in a lot of ways. For the vast majority of people, turtles and tortoises are a lot of work. They're gonna live longer than just about any other pet that there is. Uh, nobody's gonna be keeping Greenland sharks, so I think right now turtles have the edge. But they're just so much work. Uh, they really need a lot of time and dedication. Really, they, they require your entire life, and they basically become a lifestyle. Uh, so keeping turtles and tortoises as pets is something that should be taken seriously. And I wanted to reach out to some of my friends in the hobby and people that are pretty well known for taking care of turtles and tortoises and sharing that information. And so let's, let's ask a few of my friends why they keep turtles and tortoises as pets and what it takes to do so. I keep turtles and tortoises because for one, it's very nostalgic for me. It started at the age of five. So at this point in my life, I have no idea what it's like for them to not play a major role in it. It's a sense of normalcy. Uh, more importantly though, I believe in the preservation of them, especially in today's day and age, because preserving turtles and tortoises under responsible captive conditions may be one of the only ways that we're gonna be able to ensure that they'll be around for generation after generation to come. But a lot goes into it. For me, I like to practice naturalistic keeping. So that means I've gotta build them these spacious wild type habitats, and that takes a lot of devotion and dedication. And it, you know, it's to make sure that they're not only staying healthy, but that they can follow an annual cycle because for a lot of species, it's very important. Hey guys, I'm Kevin Minto. Uh, I think the reason that I keep turtles and tortoises is because they just make me happy. You know, I appreciate them. Um, if I do everything I can to ensure that I'm a good steward to them for the rest of their potentially really long life, then I'm rewarded. I'll get to watch them interact with each other, hunt for food, see them grow, and potentially produce offspring for me. Uh, there are a lot of right ways to keep turtles and tortoises, but one thing that is absolutely necessary is putting the animal's needs first. Having a game plan on what to do if they get sick you know, if you live in a colder climate like I do, then keeping them warm needs to be a priority. My best advice is to become friends with other people that work with the same animals that you do. We'll all do better at it if we all work together at it. Thanks. Hey everyone, Michael from the Turtle and Tortoise Preservation Group here. Why I keep turtles? Well, besides keeping me out of trouble, uh, they are a class of animals that can use all the help they can get. Um, you know, with hunting habitat and uh, destruction, uh, their hope for survival in the wild seems to diminish by the second. Um, what I'm doing with the these critters here in captivity is not going to make a big difference for their survival in the wild, but if it can reduce the pressure on wild caught trait, great. And, but most importantly, my goal is to inspire as many people as possible to take notice of the fate, get involved and care for these critters so they can be a voice for these critters. As for what it takes to keep, you know, uh, them set up properly and care for them properly in, in captivity, understand the, the natural history, uh, the preferences in the wild of any species you're considering, and try to replicate it as much as possible in captivity. Um, Try to, you know, um, set it up in a way where it's not much of a chore on you. It's actually something you can sit back and enjoy and, um, you know, take pressure and pride in. And it will help you really sit back and enjoy it rather than it becoming something but in some on you. I'm not sure exactly why I like keeping turtles. Maybe it's because they're halfway between a lizard and a fish. Um, maybe it's because of their fun little personalities. All I know is that when I am able to provide a nice naturalistic enclosure for my animals and I can see them interact with that in a natural way, that just brings me a lot, a lot of happiness and joy. And I just love watching them and care for them. And I am so dedicated to the conservation of these incredible species because they are so, so at risk. I think that the key to keeping happy and healthy turtles is to keep an open mind, be willing to learn from others and never be satisfied with your enclosures. You can always upgrade something, you can always do something better, and you can always learn something from someone. So keep an open mind, be willing to change and adapt just like they are, and I think that you will have a very, very successful time 
keeping these incredible, incredible animals. Thanks, Greg. Hello, everyone. Ralph Till here. I breed Egyptian tortoises. And you see by this, uh, this is a mature female, one of my, my prized possessions. The question I hear a lot is why Egyptian tortoises? I became enamored with them probably 15 or so years ago. Uh, obviously the, the size, the cuteness of them all. But I also realized that they were critically endangered in the wild. And I thought, you know, uh, here's a species that I can work with in a, in a confined area and I can build up my own breeding colony and hopefully in some small way I can help contribute to the, to the preservation of, of these little guys. Sadly, they're listed as functionally extinct in their home range of Egypt and critically endangered in the, the neighboring uh, region of Libya. You know, habitat destruction, uh, unchecked growth, and the ever-present rampant poaching has just decimated them in the wild and they, they quite frankly have no future in the wild. So it's up to individuals such as myself uh, to work with uh, different species. I've chosen these guys to uh, ensure their future. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. Hey there, it's Charlie Moorcroft. I suck at this. Hello, it's Charlie Moorcroft. I've enjoyed turtles and tortoises for my entire life. And... Hello, it's Charlie Moorcroft. And... Nothing. Cherry heads are what got me started. And they will always have a special place in my heart. There's so many different shapes and sizes and different levels of care. There's really something for everyone. So many people prefer the large species, whether it's Aldabras or Sulcatas or the huge tortoises or alligator snapping turtles or huge beautiful soft shells. I really am drawn to the tiny, like this little mud turtle. In its own way, it's just a shrunken down common snapping turtle. Greg, in answer to your question, why do I keep and why do I love turtles? I've had turtles all of my life, uh, ever since I was a little child. I, I, ever since that very first little baby green red-eared slider that uh, I had as a pet as a very young child, I guess I was around six years old, and from that point on, I've had turtles all of my life. I've been mesmerized by them. I've appreciated their beauty, their intelligence. I've learned how to breed and keep them, and uh, they've been with me. Uh, through my entire, entire life, uh, through my career path, now that I'm retired, I'm spending time with conservation and enjoying every moment of it. And what turtles mean to me, I just get mesmerized by them and uh, I, I enjoy them so much. And I, you know, you ask me, how do you, why do you like turtles? How can someone not, not really appreciate turtles? They're harmless, they're intelligent. And they're beautiful in every, every way imaginable. Uh, they have human characteristics and uh, they've taken me uh, and taught me so much. And they've brought me to so many places in the world and allowed me to learn and appreciate nature. They've also guided me in my philosophy in life. You know, there's a, uh, a, a, a saying that you should behold the turtle for he only makes progress when he sticks his neck out. Well, I've used that philosophy my entire life and through my career. And I, and I remember having a poster in my room and I, I had it in my office throughout my whole life. Uh, that quote is from uh, James uh, Brian Conan. And uh, he was the president of uh, Harvard University. That saying stuck with me. So I guess in answer to your question, in addition, uh, I have to say that they have perseverance. They, they are determined. They're long-lived and 
Just a beautiful, beautiful animal. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It's super cold outside. I'm gonna go inside, but you guys drop a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, tell us why you got into keeping turtles and tortoises as pets. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. I'm so freaking cold. See ya.